Good evening and welcome to another 7 o'clock Spurs with me, Jack Bryden. Up first tonight, Vincent Company is going to be fit for the weekend, unfortunately. Pellegrini in his press conference today said that the City captain will be ready. Don't know whether he's going to be starting or not, but he has said that he should be in the squad at the weekend. Now, that's not great news for us. City haven't had a great record without him. Um, in the nine league games that he has played in this season, they've won seven, drawn twice. One of those was against Aston Villa as well. And with the games without him, they've won seven, drawn three and lost six. So it's a bit of a mixed bag of results there without him. But everyone knows that with company back in the side, they'll be a stronger unit. He's a good captain at the end of the day. And we did last time we played him when we won 4-1 at the lane, company wasn't playing. So is company coming back a good thing or not? In my opinion, I think company would be more worried about us than we should be about them. Purely because he hasn't played since Boxing Day. He won't be into the swing of things quite yet. And, you know, we've got one of the most dangerous attacks in the Premier League at the moment. Imagine if you're Vincent Company coming back. Yes, he's an experienced player. But imagine if you're coming up against Harry Kane, who's pretty much on the ascendancy this season. He's scoring for fun. He's having fun in this, this season as well. I reckon Company's going to be a bit more afraid of Kane than Kane would be of Company, to be fair. That's yet to be seen, but let me know what you think about Company returning this weekend. Let me know what you also think the result's going to be on Sunday. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comment section below. Up next, in this afternoon's press conference with Pochettino, when asked about the idea of winning the league, he said, why not? Now, I'm completely with him on this one. We can dream, lots of us as fans, as young fans, haven't had this opportunity to feel this great about our team for our whole entire lives. I know growing up for me, you know, there was a lot of pain, there was a lot of anguish about, you know, drifting into the middle of the league, being mid-table for year after year after year, been on the ascendancy for a few years now, and now we are in second place. We can dream, we've got to believe, which is something that Pochettino also is a word that he's been using a lot recently, is that we can believe. If we believe we can do it, then why, why not? Why can't we do this? Yes, Leicester are flying. Yes, City are doing all right. Yes, Arsenal are out there or thereabouts as well. But we're there for a reason. So why can't we do this? A lot of people are saying, you know, we should be a bit nervous. We, sh we shouldn't be saying we can do this at the moment. But that's, the, that's just a typical Spurs way of looking at things. Yes, things could fall apart, but I don't think they will. We've got such a good situation at the moment where everyone believes we can do it. The team, you know, you can tell by the way that they're playing that they just think we can't be beaten by these teams. We go into games believing that we can win these games. And I think on Sunday we'll do just that and beat City. Up last today... This is one that has got me fuming. Thierry Henry, Arsenal's snake and Sky Sports pundit did his top four 11 today and it only contained one Spurs player and that was Deli Alley, who admittedly has been one of the best players this season so far. But he didn't name a single Spurs centre-back. Now, if you're a pundit, couldn't care less if you don't like Spurs, Swallow your pride and do your job properly. He didn't even name Toby Alderweireld or Jan Vertonghen in his top four 11. Now, we've got the best defensive record in the Premier League. Now, why wouldn't you name a Spurs centre-back? And it just goes to show how biased and pathetic Thierry Henry is as not only a person, but as a pundit as well. And it's just highly unprofessional from you, Thierry Henry. If you disagree with me, then write to me personally. So that has been it for today's 7 o'clock Spurs. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do and make sure to follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another match preview. And this time we have Manchester City at the Etihad.